Hey, I'm Mark, and this is James at uh, War Games Illustrated. And uh, today we're going to talk about Blaster. 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 Okay. So, tell so us this about is something which I have no prior experience uh, dealing with. I've never come across this, so I'm completely reliant on James to guide me through this as, a, as a, an entity. It's um, yeah. Looking at the front covers, they look, they look wonderful. They are. Uh, it's a really interesting one. So Blaster is, it's essentially, it's like a fanzine really, but it's okay. written by game designers of some repute. Okay. So it's a comp... So it's quite professional. It's like a dream it's... team really. Yeah, okay. uh, so you've got uh, various different designers mm -hmm. from different games, uh, and if we Look at the first one. We've actually covered this in a previous uh, War Games Illustrated a couple of years back because they basically do one a year. Okay. Um, so, but we didn't have printed versions. So these are no, available. PDFs. Yeah, these are okay. usually available as PDFs online. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can get them from Drive Through RPG, mm -hmm. but you can also get them printed from okay. Drive Through RPG. So this is the 2019 one. This is the 2021. And I'm going to guess that this is the 2021 one. That is a good oh, guess, wow. and in in keeping with the theme of. 2021, it's dark and grim. It's and bleak. No, actually, we're in a good place now. We can sit closer together. We had Freedom Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, this is this is like some really good people involved with this. Sean uh, Sutter, who in this issue has got a full set of rules for a game mm. called Sludge War. Yeah, also, incredibly talented chap. Clearly. Yeah, does all the yeah. cover art here. He did the cover art on the previous issues and all the art for his game. Lots of painting, even sculpting stuff. We've got that, Joe, that is a one. One month I know, it must be so incredible. exhausted. Yeah. Uh, Joe McCulloch, who does Frostgrave, Stargrave, Ghost Archipelago, and uh, Oathmark. Mm -hmm. So his rules in here is an extension from ones from the 2020 mm -hmm. version. You so got, in the sense of it establishes more campaigns or? It's just a uh, shadow grave is like the spin he's put on it that kind of touches okay. on the Cthulhu mythos and stuff. Oh, so cool. this carries on with that. Then okay. you've got Gaslands Legacy, which is an extension on Mike Hutchinson's yeah. Gaslands. Yeah. Um, Gamma Wolves from Ash Barker, which is his mecha fighting game. Uh, the Ronin in it thing adds extra. And then you've got Joe Maguire who does This Is Not A Test. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of well-established people adding stuff to their games. And yeah. then Greg Horton, who's the editor, also does the layout, I believe. Do you need anything other than this book uh, to play these games? Well, you'll need the rule sets for okay. the original games, because okay. uh, these, are, these aren't all standalones, except for Sludge War. OK, so Sludge War standalone. Yes. Uh, and then we get onto it, and Sludge War has just looks great. I mean, Immediately, this is... The production of these is... Yeah, this is fantastic. The layout is great, but yeah. more surprising almost is the quality of the printing, because this is basically print on demand, mm. but it's really nice. It's uh, it's kind of matte pages, which yeah. gives them a different look, uh, nice thick glossy covers. It almost has a look of like old school Rackham publications, mm. if anyone remembers that French company. They did really great design. Mm. Uh, Sludge is basically very similar to Turnip 28 in its theme, if you saw our coverage it's in some stylized, ways. Uh, yeah. yeah, stylized kind of kit bashing things, mm. grimy Grubby. trench type warfare. Yeah, yeah for sure. Sludge yeah. just kind of says it all. Yeah. Uh, and this is a full rule set. The nerve phase, interesting. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the name of these phases. The decaying world. The decaying world. Yeah. 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 And as we say, some great artwork in here. Um, and yeah, it's battalion based, so okay. you've got all the all the details you need, some variants and unit stats there. Everything you need to play a game. Everything. Uh, and this really takes up quite a bit of the issue. Um, yeah. And this is something you'll find because it's like it's essentially a, a book rather than mm. a magazine to some extent. Yeah. Uh, so, so we're fifty pages in, and we've yeah, the scenarios. Uh, we're not going to dwell on it too much because there's just too much. There's even like conversion parts for your figures, so these yeah. will fit onto existing historical miniatures to so sludge them up. Uh, then we get into Joe's one, okay. which uh, they talk about Rangers of Shadow Deep here, mm -hmm. but uh, this these rules apply to Rangers of Shadow Deep as well as Frostgrave and Ghost Archipelago. And I'm so glad that that's one of the rule sets that it involves because every time I try and say that word I get it wrong <laughs> and it sounds different, which is good. Uh, but yeah, this has got extra rules for mythos magic and spells, uh, really mixes up the game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so interesting. Again, really interesting artwork as well. Yep, yeah, artwork and very varied shots of figures. Some of them are, like have effects on them and things. So, and the layout, as we say, is really good. Quite bright, vibrant colors. I'm loving this. Whatever this creature is, it's fantastic. Uh, we're gonna call it Creepy Tree. Creepy Tree, yeah, I Creepy Tree. Uh, we've got, uh, 
familiar figure there. That's a giant in miniature, Wonderful. which uh, is a nice one. So yeah, um, different feel here, different kind of thing. Going to appeal to a different player. And then we're on to Gaslands Legacy. Again, appealing to a different player, I think. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this brings more business to Gaslands in the form of Legacy. Have you mm -hmm. played any Legacy games? I have not, no. Yeah, so I love Legacy okay. games. Like, I played Risk Legacy okay. and then Pandemic Legacy. And it it's basically about taking the concept of an existing game mm -hmm but adding legacy elements. So for example, once something gets destroyed, it's destroyed forever. Yeah. So in Risk Legacy, there are things where you will literally tear up cards. And, that's, okay. <laughs> and that legacy system now yeah. exists across different games and more people are bringing it in. So as you're going through this, you'll go through and it suddenly- sounds very it's, environmental. Stop reading. Like, don't go any further. Okay. And uh, once you finish the game, yeah. you then see what the eff effect is. Oh, okay. So that's quite cool. Uh, some great pictures of big Mad Max type that crazy vehicles. I love, I love that. Yeah, that's great. It, uh, it, it just latches onto that child and me where I like a good digger and uh, and it's on the back of an armoured yeah. truck. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, can you? I mean, Gaslands is just an excuse to buy as many children's toys as possible <laughs> and repaint them and add balls yeah. and chains and guns. So sounds sounds perfect. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of that in here. Yeah. Credit to all the different people who've done it. So there is a fanzine vibe to this. I mean, just teasing a little uh, mm. dinosaur with guns on its back there and some more here. Because why not? Or, if you've got a dinosaur, yeah. you know, why not put <laughs> guns on it? And then uh, Ash Barker has got Gamma Wolves, which yeah. is uh, a relatively new rule set that I did a flip through of. Mm -hmm. uh, I've not looked in detail at this one because I've not actually had a chance to play Gamma Wolves yet. Uh, mm. It's one where I really wanted to play it, but lockdown meant I couldn't. Lockdown has ruined most yeah. gamers' social lives. It's, it's been a tough one. For sure. Yeah. Uh, so this is more like uh, bringing paths in and giving you different vibes to your mech mm. so you can follow kind of more archetypes and it focusing a bit more on the on the pilots mm. and what their skills are more pictures more nice design some really good oh, great great picture shots. yeah getting the i was going to say photoshop but it almost looks like it's been drawn on by hand. yeah uh, yeah so this one's for this is not a test mm -hmm. and it's called the mysterious anomalies of site x Wow, that is a, that's a title. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all post-apocalyptic stuff. Yeah. So Site X is some new location that brings new modifiers. Next to Site Y, I assume? Uh, I think it's just across from Site Y, yes. yeah. Uh, I wonder what comes next. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's new rules for varying things up, new new ways to bring anomalies in. This is a vicious looking rat. Yeah. You, you would not mess with this don't rat. Don't mess, mess with the rat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've got your random kind of thing based on the draw of cards, mm. which brings up different uh, anomalies. So, mm. you know, you've got cool stuff like Meat Grinder, Apparition. Mm. I quite like enjoy games where cards, a deck of cards involved yeah, and the random it's always good. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, more tables for what, what goes on. Mm -hmm. So, again, modifiers to change up the games that you're used to yeah. playing. Um, and I guess to some extent that variety is both the charm and potentially mm. The problem with this, yeah. if you only play one game mm. out of a lot, mm. and you only have intent to play one game, then... There's a good hundred plus pages wasted, ultimately. Yes, but at yeah. the same time, like, for me, I, even though I don't play all these games, mm. like, the ones that I do play, I'm going to have mm. a go at, I'm tempted to try Sludge now, mm. and I'll still enjoy reading the other stuff mm. and can translate some of those ideas across to other games that I play. And I think looking at most of those games as well, what it seems to be is that you don't need many miniatures to just tr no, give it a try. For sure. You don't need to go out and spend a considerable amount, a yeah. couple of miniatures, it can give it a bit of conversion a time, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I mean, these are like, it's weird to say new breed of game designers, mm. but they're certainly more in the fantasy, mm. like sci-fi realm mm. and doing different things. A lot of them do Osprey books, mm. but they're not massive regimental based battles or anything no. like that. Uh, so it might not appeal to everyone, but yeah, Blaster 3 is the new one. And then kind of more of the same in the old Blasters. And Blaster 2 and Blaster 1. Yeah. And I wonder what comes next. In 2022. Blaster X. Yeah, Blaster yes, X. Blaster X. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Good stuff. Uh, well worth a look. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.